Hey guys, I'm Amadeo78 from Broken Continuity, and this is Because Comics, the show that knows you need to make an honest woman out of her. Today, I'm talking about Sith. When you think of Asgardians, Sith may not be the first one. However, she is right there. I mean, think of it. It's always like the Warriors 3 and Sith, when their cause is worthwhile at least. Sif has been widely recognized as a great warrior. The thing is, she's never been a Valkyrie. Now for a brief time, a very brief moment, she was their leader. Considering that Danny Moonstar did become a Valkyrie, it seems like a fair assumption that Sif could have been one if she wanted to. Like the Warriors 3, she just seems way more interested in fighting at Thor's side. Now, it is true that for a long time, the two were in love. However, Odin punishing Thor kind of put an end to that. It also directly led to his involvement with Jane Foster. However, Odin still kind of likes Sif for Thor, and that guy doesn't really seem to like much of anything. The thing is, Sif never really played the jilted role. As a matter of fact, she used her life essence to save Jane at one time. They've even struck up something of a friendship between the two of them. Now Sif just didn't sit at home waiting. She's actually been in a somewhat of a relationship with Beta Ray Bill. And then she was in one with Eric Masterson. Now the thing about both of them, they were both worthy enough to hold some form of hammer. Even without the prospect of love, she went to save Thor from Mephisto. And that's a pretty bold feat. Meanwhile, Sif has never really been bitter. She is always there when Asgard needs her. She showed up to help out the new Lady Thor without even knowing who she was. The more you look, Sif seems like pretty much the best of everything. Better make an honest woman out of her because comic. Anyway, I'm Amadeo78 from Broken Continuity. Thanks for tuning in. Please like and subscribe and I'll catch you next time.